I'm going to do a comparison of the PS1 and the PSX and also Unirom versus Tony Hex International and the difference between Unirom memory card and the Unirom parallel port and Tony Hex versus Tony Hex International. First off, the main reason that I run Unirom on my fat and International on my slim is because the parallel port with Unirom, I'm able to run Catella. And I don't have that option on my slim. On my slim, International is the only way I can get a Game Shark to run. And I recognize that it's crazy that I have both consoles, but there is an advantage. The Slim has slightly better video output, but the fat boots slightly faster. So however I feel that day, I can play either one. Also, I like when the controllers match, and I have my, 70, my 1180. That is the controller with the concave thumbsticks. It doesn't have rumble, so... If I want rumble, a lot of times I'll use the slim because the controller on my slim has rumble. But the controller on the fat feels nicer, but it lacks rumble. Another reason that I use Unirom on my fat is because I can just keep the same OS running on all three. The CD-ROM, the parallel port, and the memory card. Um... I found out recently that I can actually boot up because this is a beta. I can actually run the stable version off the CD-ROM and I can run the old Catella which allows me to save off of this. Um, I have a video on that um, called, uh, I think it's called Unirom Beta. But that's another reason why I run Unirom off this fat and Tony Hex off this slim right now. But the utilities on the disc allow me to flash different cheat carts that I own. So I can flash all these different cheat carts. And I can boot up Unirom from the memory card or the disc. And this is the console that has the parallel port. So that's another reason. This disc allows me to do that. It has multiple uh, ROMs that allows me to flash those cheat cards with whatever uh, ROM I want. And you can see it's instantaneous for me to get right to the stable version of K. So I'm going backwards, but it's to the stable version. And once the CD is booted, then I can go into install here and I can flash whatever cheat card I want and let's see it lets me go into let's see that's weird auto detect hmm. anyway kind of giving me an error there but that's one of the reasons why I run Unirom in the fat but you can see it's up and booted the old version but watch how quick it resets if I want to get into the new OS and boot a game I hit the reset it's booted it just takes seconds it's about four seconds now I'm gonna remove the back cheek I'm gonna shut the system off See, LEDs off. I'm gonna move the back. And we're gonna boot this up and I'll show you how much slower the memory card is versus the cheat card. So I just turned the LED on. 
See, we have to wait through the whole entire boot up sequence. And once this sequence goes through, oh, yeah, and then you have to remember to make sure that this is up. So I hit the reset button. So if I forget that to put the lid up, that's another thing. So now that I remember to keep the lid up, I'm sure that's something that you guys have all did. So you got to wait for this loading screen. And so not only do you got to wait for the boot up, then you got to wait for this loading screen. And then finally it boots. So now we're into the memory card. That's weird. I didn't know it said boot. I thought it said something else. But yeah, now the memory card's booted. Um, now, for example, let's put a game in. Let's see here. Here is Metal Slug X. It's a patched game with red blood. I am going to hit R1, which starts up the game normally. So interesting, so this booted, this is the patched version, but normally this the regular version of this game does not boot. So they must have uh, removed the copy protection in this patch version. Um, I was having problems booting this game. I was thinking I was going to get a frozen boot screen. <laughs> so that kind of that put a twist in my video. But anyway, the game booted. Let's try the same game on the slim model. And we all know about how long the boot screen is, so... Let's test the speed difference. Oh, interesting. We got an error. I wonder if the card wasn't weird. Okay, so the switch was down, wasn't down completely. It's got a little bit of crud in it. So this boots up a little faster. There's no loading screen with International, um, the free PSX boot. Now what's cool about this is we can inject Game Shark codes. And since we're going to have the lid up anyway, the loading time's the same. But in all honesty, it'd be faster if we're not going to use Game Shark codes to use the parallel port on the FAT model, unless we're going to have Game Shark codes. So, if we're going to use Game Shark codes anyway, it's best to use the Slim. So, that's how I think of it. If I'm going to use Game Shark codes and I got Rumble, I use the Slim. And I get v better video output because of the external power supply. Because of this power supply back here versus the power supply here that's actually built into the PlayStation. Because this is built into here, it actually I get this interference. Now one thing I don't like is you have to take the card out and close the lid. I would like it if you just had to close the lid. But since you have to close the lid anyway, taking the card out isn't that big of a deal. And it's slot 2 anyway. Normally you use slot 1 for saves. So I don't mind that much. Seems like they sped things up quite a bit. And I heard that they changed the uh, handling of the Game Shark codes. So the game's booted. It boots up just as fast once it gets to this point. Let's try out the old Tony Hex. See how that goes. Versus Tony Hex International. See if it's any faster. And it looks like it's just as fast. 
if you get good at pulling the card out, I don't know. It's it's been initializing CD for a while. I think international's faster. Yeah, I'd say it's a good two seconds faster. International is, but we did activate Game Shark codes too, so it's probably even faster than that. All right, we're gonna put in 1.4.2 international into the fat. I have not tested out international in the fat model for quite a few generations now, um, or revisions. It's been it's probably six revisions. I've been using the free PSX boot for international in the slim model, so let's see how fast it is. All right, just turn the console on, hit record. What the heck? Okay, I'm going to do that again. Just turn the console on, hit record. It pops up pretty damn fast. We're going to try it with leaving the lid down, not activating any codes or anything to see how fast it will load up the game. Wow. Definitely faster than a stock BIOS. But remember, there's no Sony screen, so you gotta deduct that time versus the international time. Let's see. Oh, do we have a problem? I'm not getting... So we might have an issue here. Nope, no problem. The video just swapped because of the black screen. Game booted right up. That was definitely the fastest. It's faster than Uniram uh, parallel port, faster than anything. So International is the fastest period out of all of it. But still, considering the parallel port, Uniram's tools... I would still want to run per, uh, Uniram out of my fat. So if you have a setup like mine, I highly recommend Free PSX Boot Tony X International with the Game Shark support on the Slim and Uniram. If you can get your hands on the L beta, and the new version will be out. Well, they're working on it, and it'll have Catella 34, which I have an entire video on that. Um, get that and run that out of your fat. But most people aren't crazy enough to have both consoles set up. So if you're going to do one or the other, I recommend running a fat, probably with International right now, until Uteram gets an answer, updates, because the last update they've had was last year, I believe. International just had an update, what, a week ago? They've been getting updates like every week or every two weeks. And they have more game support. So. That's my recommendation. If you have both, do it like I did it. You know where I'm on the fat. You know. International on the Slim. Alright guys, bye.